Well, hello, and welcome to the first episode of DTH Mini Reviews. Uh, today we are doing our first indie game. Uh, it is called Gone Home, and uh, we were kind enough, to, uh, we were lucky enough, so to be given some some code for free by. Uh, do you want to say their names and give some thanks, Jameson? Well, Fulbright Studios. They, uh, I got in touch with them and asked if we could get some codes, and uh, they sent some to us, and we were very happy to have it. Have them. Yeah. Have the codes. Yeah, very, very, very nice of them. And that's our first, our first gift since we started this show yeah. from any developer. So go you first. Everyone loves being first, don't they? So okay. Gone Home. It's a video game, I think. I think yeah, we'll qualify yeah. this yeah, as a video good. game. It's, it's a good start. Uh, it's made so Fulbright, the studio that made it, uh, was the th- couple of the key people there were some of the key people that worked on the Minerva's Den DLC for Bioshock Two. Mm, okay. Which I don't know if you ever played Minerva's Den. It's I one don't of the best. No, I wasn't the biggest fan of two. Okay, well, Minerva's is Den it? is one of the best things to happen to Bioshock. I think. It's, oh, uh, Jesus! Okay, it's, it's worth playing if you haven't. I highly recommend it. Uh, so this, so you know, that's sort of an encouraging thing when you hear, oh, the the best part of Bioshock two, the people that are responsible for it have gone off and started their own studio. Yeah. And they made a game, and it's um. Basically, the premise is you play as this lady named Katie, yes, who just got back from uh, a trip around Europe uh, for like a year almost, and uh, she gets home late one night, uh, and the mo- the majority of the game is just you exploring this gigantic house. <laughs> yes, a massive house. Uh, and you know, it's there's not a lot of gameplay to it, but it's sort of ex- the type of game that I really find interesting where it's just exploration and discovering the story through notes and audio recordings um, yeah there is no and it does it all very on. effectively which is yeah. good it works yeah it's a very cold open you just sort of start in you know you're not there are no tutorials or anything obviously you just sort of start wandering around and finding things and the story sort of unfolds and it was uh it's a pretty cool little game, I it think. It is. Like, um, I had no idea what I was getting into because uh, you Nor basically I, just contacted yeah. me saying that they'd been kind enough to donate this game, which I'd never heard of. And uh, I just jumped on it uh, late last night. And uh, I, because I didn't know, I didn't even know what genre it uh, was. So I, I jumped in and you start, uh, no instructions, you're just on a porch, you're first person. And the only thing you can do is, as you said, you can open drawers and look at items. And I was creeped out to f- Man, I was freaking <laughs> yeah. out because um, at the beginning it does this really, really good job of making you feel like you're in a house on your own. Like everyone has had the situation when you come home, you're you're on your own. It's dark. It starts yeah. raining. And it's thundering, and even though you're confident that your house is secure, you still have this feeling in the you know, back of your head. You're a bit worried. You're a bit paranoid. Absolutely, and yeah. it transitions and even so in the, well. Even in your own comfortable house that you live in, yeah. When you're on your own there, and it's at nighttime, and if you get the horrible thought in your head of, like, you know, maybe, is this place, I'm alone in here, right? Yeah, I think I am. Like, It's creepy when that happens, and then even creepier would be being in someone else's house home alone, like, alone at nighttime, not sure if it's locked down. Uh, And they do a really good job of capturing that. It was, it's surprisingly freaky. sort of just like psychologically messing with you at times almost like just <laughs> yeah. the natural creaking of a house oh the taps and the thunder and the yeah, TV's like, left on yeah it's, it's, oh, it's house noises hell. are still house noises still wake me up every once in a while and freak me out and uh, and they do a really good job of keeping that right through to the end of the game uh, of just keeping this weird tension which I really like yeah, when you go into like a a fresh dark room, there's always that panic where you don't know where the like, light. Where's the light <laughs> you switch? don't know where the light switch is. They give you no, they yeah. give you no help. You just have to like scrape, like you like you would in real life. You just scrape your hand on the wall hopelessly, like yeah. ramming the <laughs> the left mouse key. Like yeah, every time I went into please. a new room, I walk in it sideways and just click the light yeah. switch as fast oh, as I could. And then it's just the ultimate relief when the the room is flooded with light. Yeah, and then there's these long hallways as well. They're very looming. I didn't like them. They were creeping me out. Like yeah. you're reading something on a desk, and, and then you'd hear something, and you spin around, and you're like, ugh, ugh. Yeah, and they, they definitely put some extra sounds in there that are, 
put there deliberately to mess with you. Like you said, you heard a cough at one mm. point, and what there the are hell? definitely times where you're like reading a a note that's been left behind, and you hear it sounds like someone has stepped on a creaky floorboard right behind you. You know. <laughs> freak out quite a bit. I, I was panicking. Like I tweeted you. I was like, is this a horror game? Because I'm not laughing right now. I'm really <laughs> scared. <laughs> but yeah, it, they do a fantastic yeah, and job. and I think that's atmosphere. part of what makes it really great is not knowing uh, like knowing as little as possible about what it is and what the story is and all that jazz. Uh, but the thing is, the, yeah. What should we say about... Uh, how do you talk about this? Yeah, that's just what I'm saying. It's difficult because like, the whole premise is you go around the house and you read notes and you uncover almost the whole family story from the mum, the dad... Uh, mm -hmm. the, the deceased uncle, both sisters, and through this two and a half hour game of you just exploring the house, by the end of it, you know almost all of their situations and some of their past. And it's, um, it's a, I can, I've seen some reviews. It's not for some people. It was no, but it's um, it tells a, it tells a really concise, personal, human story. Oh yeah, which most games don't do, and it does it so well. And that's sort of all I want to say about the story. It's. I think if people appreciate what, like, if if you appreciate a good story, in any form, I think you'll really people really will really enjoy yeah, this. That, yeah, because uh, yeah, we I'm yeah trying to be very careful not to spoil anything, because I could talk for about you know about half an hour about how clever I thought some aspects of what they revealed were, but I'm going to keep it completely quiet because it was the reveal of some of the aspects is definitely the uh, the top part of the game, and uh, it also I think taps into that like innate nosy curio curiosity that everyone has when you're in a stranger's house and you see something yeah, and you, you kind of wish find out everything yeah, you can you kind of wish you could be left alone just to nosy around in people's stuff and that's what you get it's very very human like you find stuff underneath for like couch pillows and uh you know everywhere like you had to really search and you gotta be prepared uh prepared to really have a good look around a good nose around and read a lot of stuff you find to get into the good detail so you gotta be prepared to you know settle in Chill out, take it slow, that sort of thing. Yeah, definitely. Um, it's uh, we should mention though that it's not uh, it's not terribly long. It's, mm -hmm. I mean, I think you and I spent maybe we probably spent max two and a half hours with yes, it. Yes, uh, about yes, accurate, yeah. Yeah, and it is twenty bucks, which you know, twenty bucks for two two and a half hours. It's a bit steep. I can, yeah. I it is a bit steep, and it, but I think it's sort of like you know, Journey or uh, some of these other games that are they're short but i you know for 20 bucks i think you're really investing in an experiment in storytelling i like to think it's it, nothing yeah I've definitely ever and it, most people i think a lot of people won't care for it at all but i think if, if if you're interested in like what how stories can be told uh in games i i think it's absolutely worth 20 bucks and two and a half hours of i can time. definitely see it picking up a couple of awards for its uh, innovation it's very intimate. There's some voice acting in it, which is very high quality. There is, yeah, very, very good voice acting. Just two voices. Uh, I think there's just two voices, mainly just one voice. Uh, and, and she does a wonderful job. We moved into this house. I'm in a new school. And my big sister being gone for a year doesn't make it any easier. It doesn't feel real. But I'm not going to let it phase me. I used to tell you everything, and if I can't do it in person, because you're off gallivanting around who knows where, I'll tell it to this journal, just like I was talking to you. It does a very good job of giving you uh, these mixed energies, where like, uh, as, I, as I said, I won't spoil anything, but sometimes it seems like it's going down a positive road, and then, but you'll still have this really, really creepy feeling in the back of your mind, because mm -hmm. basically there's like four different stories going on, and some of them are good, some of them are quite dark, and you, you get these mixed messages as you're walking through the house, and it's uh, and it comes to a really good conclusion. I had goosebumps at the end. It was it was really well done. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, well, in conclusion, you know, as I said, it's uh, it's an incredibly intimate story. Uh, it brings up some really, really strange emotions in yourself as you're playing. Uh, it's original. It's completely original. I can't think of anything like it. So, if you want to play something completely different, I definitely recommend it. As we said. The price tag is is steep. Uh, I think it, it will affect uh, my rating. I think overall I'm going to give it a four stars. <laughs> uh, it's definitely the most original and interesting game I've played this year so far. But uh, I think the price tag is a bit steep. Maybe wait for it to go on sale. But uh, keep this on your list, people. Keep this on your list. It's definitely something. It's only two hours of your time. Something everyone should try it out. Yeah, I agree. Everybody should play it. Uh... Yeah. 
And I think, you know, everybody should buy it for 20 bucks and support people that make games, interesting, cool games like this, you know. Support your indie developers, guys. Support your indie developers. They're the future. Yeah, they kind of are.